That day, fellows on the outside of row one. So uh, that's our first row. We've got uh, row number two headed up by Dennis Charlotte, Luca Durning, Reese Lindsay, and Justin Maunder. The marshals are in, and we are almost ready to go here. The lights come on, and we had a look at this one here. Who gets the good start here? 300 Super Sport Racing underway. Corbett Buchanan gets a great jump. Harry Parker pretty handy to the pace of the inside as well. Uh, a drag race down into the first corner. We've got a massive field here. Uh, there's uh, uh, over 28. Uh, nearly 30 300s in the 300 Super Sport class. So this one here, uh, a six lapper now. So uh, more frantic action here in the Gilmore Homes and Builders 300 Super Sport as we go racing with our top uh, competitors at the moment. Through the S's for the first time, Caleb Gilmore uh, ahead of Cormac Buchanan, Harry Parker in there as well. We've got Dave Fellows, Dennis Charlotte, Luke Gadurning. So these are our usual contenders up the front. Uh, the uh, repeat customers uh, in the head of this field. So here we go. This one here, Caleb Gilmore. Good start, Jared. 30 bikes out there. This is spectacular. When I first went to Australia with Mitch Rees over at Phillip Island, he was uh, taking the ride for Damon Rees, who was out. And I thought, ooh, 300s. This is a spectacular race, and it is like the Moto 3 that we get to see on TV. And these boys are making us proud. We've got the new kid out there as well. New boy on the block, just jumped off the 150. We didn't get to measure him and see how good he is, but boy, he's turned up. Yeah, he was spectacular. New lap record too. So, well, your first ride on the 300 at the track and your lap record. So, phenomenal. 117.828. We're on the first lap at the moment, so we won't be sitting in lap records now, but uh, keep an eye on the pace at the moment. Uh, out in front, Cormac Buchanan ahead of Caleb Gilmore, Harry Parker, Dave Fellows, Dennis Charlotte, and Luca Dooning. That's the pack that goes across the line. Curtis Boyd uh, back there as well, and uh, Campbell Grayling. He gets a good sport, a good start on the Biggles Racing uh, entry as well, but uh, look at this one. He throw a blanket over the top five of them as they go around turn one. It's a full, uh, there's even six. Luca Dooning's down on the back of this one now, so it's a full on six way tussle as we go around turn two. Uh, no quarter given. Uh, it's an absolutely frantic pace. You can see the back end of the bikes twitching around as they break hard into the S's, and it's still Caleb Gilmore. Um, I wonder if Cormac's just going to sit in behind him. We saw how much dicing and toing and throwing happened in race number one. Uh, didn't really help anyone because it was all down to the final lap. So uh, maybe just happy to sit in there and take some laps off. Uh, it's only a six lapper, Jared. We're in for a, a beauty here. Yeah, definitely. You sort of when you're in a bit of a uh, bigger boy class, you sort of sit there and look for consistency. So passing, you're going to lose some time. So if you have a real bad lap, it should be sort of 0.4 of a second drop back. If you're lapping someone, maybe 0.6, or if you get run wide, we're looking at a second. And if these guys lose a second, we're looking that they'll drop back to about eighth place. So we do have an internationally classed pack here, and it is quite good. They are working on their race craft. It's quite nice to see. There is two alternating lines that they are running. See, one of the boys go out wide, then square it off as well. And they'll run two different lines down the front, straight down to turn one. But uh, they're definitely working as a pack. There's not a lot of hustling and stuff, and that's why we're seeing these good lap times. Here we go. There is uh, six of them crossing the line. Uh, we're going to catch an update there. The fastest man of that pack was Luca Durning, a 118.5 that time around. So we're already on the pace. Dennis Charlotte uh, in sixth place behind him. We've got Curtis Boyd, Campbell Grayling, Shane Miller and Reese Lindsay rounding out our top ten at the moment. Aaron Woodhead at 11th and Justin Maunder now back in 12th place. So uh, have a look at this one. Uh, a change of position. We've got uh, Cormac Buchanan back into fourth now. Harry Parker's gone up into second. Dave Fellows into third. Uh, as we keep an eye on these guys here around the left-hander uh, here at Circuit Chris Amon. Uh, Manfield down the Denny Holm straight at the moment. So much history and so much uh, awesome stuff here at Manfield. We love coming here. We're not coming here uh, for the New Zealand Superbike Championship, so uh, it makes it all the more special that we're here for round two of the Suzuki International Series. And uh, this one here, uh, Cormac Buchanan up into third place. Dave Fellas just runs a little bit wide, and uh, these guys are dealing in millimetres out there at the moment, uh, Jared. Yeah, it's very tight. Great to see Dennis Charlotte making the trip up as well. He's um, turned up for this one. He hasn't been riding, I think, only doing the... Uh, Christchurch rounds and um, so we just see one of the bikes there slip down into the hairpin. Oh yeah Dennis he uh, just turns up he's jumped in there he's a uh, former New Zealand Superbike look at our tight we are three pack it's uh, split into two packs now we've got three on three and it's really going to heat up with Great to see Dennis turn up here and then, uh, have a real good little look at this uh, up and coming talent that we have in New Zealand. 
Yeah, absolutely frantic stuff as they cross the line. Absolutely nothing in it. So we're going to try. It's Harry Parker ahead of Caleb Gilmore. And uh, we've got Cormac Buchanan now up at the inside. So change of position into second place. It's Cormac Buchanan up into uh, second place. And he was fourth about two corners ago, Jared. So this is just shows you uh, you're never out of this. As long as you can stay in this front six pack, um, you're going to be handy to the pace. So it is the update. Harry Parker ahead of Cormac Buchanan. Then go back to Caleb Gilmore. We've got Dave Fellows, Luca Durning, and Dennis Charlotte. Uh, and then uh, certainly not out of the fight is uh, Campbell Grayling and then Curtis Boyd back in there. So that's your top eight flying at the moment. We've got Shane Miller and uh, Reese Lindsay uh, there. Oh, no, we've got one down, we've got one down, so uh, I'm not sure who that was. Caleb, um, it's Caleb, yeah, it is yeah. Caleb. So uh, he's up. He's uh, a little bit uh, upset with himself, but he's A-OK. -okay, so uh, drama as we catch it on the C-Tash replay. Oh, oh yeah, oh. just got the line taken away from him, stood it up, and uh, yeah, there we go. So that's uh, just a bad luck racing incident. Obviously, no wing mirrors on these things to see where the other rider is, but uh, there it is. A bit of drama. Caleb Gilmore uh, off into Higgins. He's up and OK, but now uh, the right fight rages on. Harry Parker leads uh, ahead of Cormac Buchanan. Luca Durning now up into third, the fastest man on track with a 118.347 that time around. So uh, the man to look out for uh, in third place, Luca Durning on the Barrack Sports Bar. Uh, totals man, Wanganui dentist entry uh, there in uh, third place. Got a red flag. So we have gone, we've gone to a red flag, so uh, obviously uh, that bike might be just a bit too close to the track at Higgins. And we've also got a bike down in the left-hander as well, so two bikes uh, for recovery. And uh, this one here has gone to a red flag, so uh, with only two laps to go uh, out of six, I think that'll be declared, and we'll go back a lap. So uh, well, we don't have the update. Uh, these positions change so much. Uh, but when they cross the line, Harry Parker ahead of Cormac Buchanan and Luca Durning, that could be the provisional podium. Uh, but uh, we'll go back a lap when it gets red flagged. Uh, to see where we're at. Uh, Jared, more drama in 300 Super Sport than we can handle. Yeah, definitely. When you get tight racing, you are going to have a, a few little issues like that. The, um, the boys look after each other, but just unfortunately a little issue. So the, the, obviously there was no intent, no one uh, sort of roughing each other up. So it's an unfortunate thing. So hopefully they can get over that. It is beautiful tight racing, and it's great to see. Um, I don't know which one to really cheer for. It's great to see so many out there and so many inspiring things. Just the concerning thing for being a North Islander is how many fast South Islanders are coming up. Now, um, that little Harry Parker, boy, he won't give in. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we love this. Yeah, and of course, uh, we have the dates confirmed for our New Zealand Superbike Championships. We'll touch on those. NZSBK for 2021. We start at the 9th and 10th of January at Mike Perry Motorsport Park in Ruapuna, Christchurch. Uh, then a week later, we go to Levels International Raceway. That's round two. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And then uh, 6th and 7th of March, we go to Hampton Downs for the legendary event, MotoFest. Uh, and then a week later, we go to Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park for the fourth and final round of our New Zealand Superbike Championships. Uh, but this one here in the books, Harry Parker, Cormac Buchanan and Luca Durning. That's our top three. Dave Fellows, Dennis Charlotte and Campbell Grayling will be credited with 4th, 5th and 6th. Uh, Curtis Boyd, Shane Miller, Reese Lindsay. Aaron Woodhead in 10th. Justin Maunder gets 11th. Sean Parker, a good 12th from Sean. Ollie Fura. And 13th, Scott Hawks, good 14th. Tariana Banks gets 15. That's some good uh, quality points in the Banks family trophy uh, bragging rights going on there. So uh, T running away with that uh, championship at the moment there. Um, he gets a, a couple of points there, 19th. And uh, Clive gets one uh, sole point for getting 20th. We run motocross points here at the uh, Suzuki International Series. So uh, we get to, uh, it tightens up the points in the podium and makes points go all the way to 20th place, uh, which means good consistent finishing is rewarded in a six race series. We'll cross down to Neil, who will have our podium. It's uh, the Timaru man, Harry Parker, credited with the win. Cormac Buchanan, uh, after winning earlier this morning, gets second place. And then Luca Durning, another podium finish for him. So cross over to Neil. We'll have our Gilmore Homes and Builders Supersport 300 podium. Well, an opportunity to be here at uh, Trackside and uh, super close out here between uh, a couple of the boys. And uh, hey, Luca, congratulations uh, joining this uh, elite crew up here. A uh, whole lot of fun out there. How's the race? It was good, really good. Uh, it was a big close battle with Dave there in the last couple of laps. We were touching and swapping paint everywhere, but it was good. Nothing wrong with that. It's just racing, really. Yep. It was good catching up to the front group, but ran out of time with the red flag. But yeah, it was good racing. Well done to the boys in first and second, and yeah.
Beautiful speech, Luca. Well done, mate. You're getting used to this. I want to see you up here more often. This is fantastic to see. So uh, here we go, and uh, an opportunity to catch um, our, uh, our boys here. First of all, with uh, uh, Cormac, and uh, Cormac, you come here to Manfield. Isn't this a 300 track? Uh, yeah, the racing's really close here. It's pretty much a straight break, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed the race out there. Um, hope Caleb's all good, but uh, you know, that's not what you want to see, but um, yeah, me and Harry won too in both races, and uh, you know, this is us giving back to the Yamaha team, and um, to bring it home is uh, really good. All right, indeed. Um, hey, from an experienced point of view, you're now getting in all of these uh, uh, tracks, indeed. Of course, your home Terra Tonga and the likes, plenty of other good tracks around. Um, it, get, that experience is just so important. Yeah, I'm gaining experience for NZSBK, and even when I go over to Europe, um, the racing is going to be exactly like this. So it's all really good racecraft experience, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm really enjoying it out there, and um, you know, I'm improving every lap, so I couldn't ask for much more. All right, um, hey, you've got to skip uh, Wong and you, but uh, NZSBK, looking forward to Rupert in a few weeks. Yeah, I really like Real Puna. It's one of my favourite tracks. Um, it's going to be really good racing there, um, judging from last year. So I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I'm looking forward to riding with Harry. And uh, yeah. Bring it on. Well done. Great effort indeed. Uh, loving it, Cormac. Oh, we'll just make this up. And uh, an opportunity. Uh, Harry, mate, you came here and stole this. This is absolutely fabulous. What's been the difference? Well, I think Robert Taylor, he's done a massive job on our rear suspension. Like last year, we're doing 21s around here. And now in qualifying, we ended up putting, putting it on pole at 17s around here. So it's really fast. And all the team here, they've done a massive job. And I can't thank my dad enough for all the support. And um, Steve Lloyd for doing all the hard work behind the scenes, getting the bikes ready. And yeah, I can't, Yamaha, of course. So it's been an awesome weekend. All right, what about the fact that uh, here you are on a completely different track? This is nothing like your home at uh, levels and uh, a track that we don't get to race on enough, I've always said in New Zealand, but uh, there are 300s. It looks a well-suited circuit. Yeah, so I probably race here once a year if we're lucky. And let's just say Friday and Saturday we were struggling the whole time. Okay. So it was good to come in and get a clean sweep today. And we put a lot of work in on Friday and we've got the right settings now. So I'm pretty happy with it. All right, you coming to Wanganui? Sadly, I'm not. It's too close to nationals, and I don't want to risk anything. Okay, yeah, fair call. So, uh, therefore, that'll mean that uh, we can see you at uh, Ruapuna. Uh, looking forward to that. Yep, you'll see me there. I can't wait for Ruapuna. It seems like it's taken ages to come around. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Will you, uh, reproduce your form that you've shown here. Is this just things that you've done here for Manfield, or is it uh, improvements that you think you can make from it here on now? No, we'll definitely make the improvements. We've... Um, Come a long way since last year from Nationals, so we'll be in for the money this year, I reckon. Well done. Merry Christmas, uh, Harry. Awesome, mate. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you uh, Ruapuna around 1 January the 9th. Sweet. Thank you. See you there. Here, here.